so bitch, let's fuck so I can smoke again. I gotta smoke again. I got shit to do right now. Who's smoking in my car? episode 15 of the series today we're just going to be talking about basically what call of duty has in store for 2019 if you guys remember um back in 20 or 12 years after call of duty 4 got released guys call of duty 4 model warfare infinity ward is releasing is returning to the game Tuned its franchise into a shooter dominated juggernaut. This is according to GameSpot as well. Um, and hopefully, you guys do enjoy the gameplay as well. I have in the background, just for that matter. But um, basically, this year's Call of Duty is in fact Call of Duty Modern Warfare, as it rumors suggested, but it's not the remake of the game that kicked off the trilogy of 2007. Basically, if you guys remember, oops, hold on, guys, let me turn down the. Uh, audio a little bit here. So, yeah. but basically, um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 is the uh, remaining of the first game and brings in um, some stark changes. Chief among the them on the multiplayer front is the addition of cross platform. So yes, that means guys, we're going to be having um, PC, Xbox, PlayStation 4. And whatever consoles ever else come out with it um it's definitely going to be interesting call of duty this year especially with cross-platform and stuff like that um there's also gonna they're not gonna be having the season pass this year as well they're actually gonna be taking the season pass out shut up siri and it's everybody's gonna have this it gives everybody a chance to play the maps and see how they're gonna be I just hope they're better than the Black Ops maps. I mean, it's it's made by Infinity War though too, so it should be better. But um, basically, it's a portion of the player base and stuff like that as well. Um, there's gonna be some iconic characters coming back as well. Infinity War uh, reveals that the details of the single player campaign um is to a journalist last week in, in the studio of California. A uh, continuation of the Modern Warfare series, a Modern Warfare trilogy, because in that world there isn't much room to raise the stakes. Russia invaded the U.S., nuclear weapons explosions, etc. Um, if any world wants to revisit some of the Modern Warfare's concepts without being beholden in the worlds of the original Price, so yes, Captain Price is going to be back in the game as the main antagonist or protagonist, excuse me, not antagonist. Um, in this new story, for instance, it seems like as though this game will be concerned the Russian interactions with the Middle East unnaturalist group helping uh, execute terrorist attacks in the major cities such as London. Apart from the broad strokes, though, we would do not know much about the story. So basically, um, about like the London attacks, if you guys remember back, back in Modern Warfare 3, um, we end up... Where there's a family that goes to London for a um, vacation, and her father wants to go on a vacation, so that's what they end up doing. But sad to say, they actually end up having up, uh, and it basically left off a big giant nuke, is what I'm understanding, because it wiped out everything, and there's only the thing that was left was the camera that was showing the footage and stuff like that afterwards, because they're video recording it. But Basically, it's it's definitely going to be something like that. But if you guys remember, um, basically it talks about, it shows like a clip, I should say, of like U.S. forces storming a compound um, and stuff like that. Um, that is basically trying to tell you guys what it's going to be about and stuff like that. Is that it's going to be something to do with Osama bin Laden. Because if you guys know, back in 2011, 2012, uh, they end up, six end up storming Osama's compound and executing him. Uh, but continuing off of the GameSpot thing, what they have for news is a studio narrative director Taylor Kurowski and single player director Jacob uh, Minkoff, who both contributed to Infinity Ward from the uh, narrative focused developer Naughty Dog. So that would be another 
group that's working on it said, I'm ready for this Modern Warfare to be more gritty and more mature for a relevance in today's world. So it's going to be more modern weapons and stuff like that. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a fun Call of Duty this year, guys. Um, there's going to be lots of new features and stuff like that, obviously. Um, there's going to be rel or like refugees that you can play as. You gotta have to. I'm guessing you're gonna have to break out of prison at one point and storm different spots of the parts of the world and stuff like that. But that, guys, is basically all I really have for today's video. Um, basically, it's just talking about the brand new Call of Duty Modern Warfare and stuff like that. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys hit that like button down below as well and tell me you guys' thoughts on the um, Modern Warfare and stuff like that. I'm super excited for it. I'm actually, I might end up buying the next expensive, not the actual, like the highest expensive one, but I might buy the $70 one and $80 one. Because um, it does come with all gillied up, kind of a walkthrough, or uh, cosmetic item. But anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, support your troops, good soldiers. Peace to the next one.